Time now for the morning rush. Here is a live look at the Florida coast this morning where people are bracing for Hurricane Dorian to make landfall. Mandatory evacuation orders are in place and Florida shelters are no longer accepting evacuees. This comes as Dorian is still hovering over the Bahamas, bringing massive flooding and heavy winds, claiming the lives of at least five people so far. Chris. David, luckily no impacts here in New Mexico from Hurricane Dorian, but we will see some changes in that forecast heading into the weekend. The high that's been to the north and the west going to reposition itself and kind of weaken as a trough scrapes into the west coast. That's going to increase moisture for central, western, and northern New Mexico over the weekend. Temperatures falling a few degrees. David. Breaking overnight, search and rescue crews have pulled 25 bodies from the water at the scene of a, a boat fire rather in California. Nine others are still missing. Now, the Coast Guard says a total of 39 people were trapped in the sleeping quarters below the deck when it caught fire. Five crew members were able to escape. Now, investigators have yet to find out what sparked those flames. Well, the Albuquerque dad who beat his infant son is scheduled to be sentenced today. Last year, Evan Ritchie admitted to beating his four-month-old son because he would not stop crying. Now, police say the infant's injuries included rib and skull fractures. In April, Ritchie pleaded no contest to six abuse charges. He now faces a maximum of 18 years in prison. Well, state police remain on scene this morning investigating a possible drowning. Here's what we know so far. Now, it happened at Bill Evans Lake. This is just north of Silver City. Now, police say an 18-year-old boy was last seen in the water yesterday afternoon, but then disappeared. Now, state police launched their dive team. We will bring you the latest updates as soon as we learn them. Well, the family of a New Mexico singer is honoring her life now by launching the Ernestine Romero Memorial Fund. Now, the goal is to provide school scholarships and donations to local organizations that work to prevent domestic violence. Police say the local singer was shot and killed in July by her husband, who then turned the gun on himself. Well, now courts across the state will now allow husbands and wives to testify against each other. The recent change stems from a murder case dating back to 2002 when David Gutierrez Jr. was charged with the murder of Jose Valverde and sentenced to life. But during the trial, marital privilege prevented his ex-wife and current wife from testifying against him. The change applies to both civil and criminal cases. Right now, the CDC is confirming more than 1,000 cases of salmonella linked to home-raised poultry. Officials say raising chickens and other poultry for eggs and companionship is linked to the biggest cause of salmonella infections here in the U.S. Now, in August, 235 cases were reported. Two people have died and more than 175 have been hospitalized. Chris. David, let's get a look at that Metro Threat Index today. I have it at a three, and that's because we're going to deal with some hot temperatures out there, and it's going to remain dry. So we are talking about temperatures climbing up to 96 degrees. That is well above average. Make sure you're staying hydrated, and with mostly sunny skies, you definitely want to wear the sunscreen. David. Insurance cost hikes may cost some New Mexico public school employees their recent raises. Last session, the legislature signed off on a raise for teachers, and more than 30,000 educators are now covered by the state's public schools insurance authority. That now is facing between a 3 to 6 percent premium cost hike. That covers both medical and dental plans. All recent scams are now targeting New Mexico's military members. The Better Business Bureau did a study finding that military members are at a higher risk of scams and loss. Now, many reported mortgage uh, scams when moving to different cities. And those who served got a scam, and who say they got scammed, rather, lost an average of $50 more than others. Now, the Bureau hopes that education will prevent this happening from the, in the future. Happening today, UNM students and faculty, listen up. If you get a Lobo alert, there's no reason to worry. It's because the university is going to be testing out its emergency notification system at 11.02 this morning. Along with alerts, people will hear his sirens on campus. University officials say it's to get everyone familiar with emergency protocol at UNM. Spaceport America is now exploring the idea of launching satellites. The journal is now reporting that spaceport authorities are looking into existing launch companies as well as startups, trying to get them to come here to New Mexico. This comes as just the last month, Virgin Galactic Airlines moved into the spaceport. The communication satellites would then launch into low Earth orbit. Let's get a look at that morning drive out there. Everything moving along pretty nicely along I-25 as well as I-40 as you're heading out the door this morning. You're taking a live look at News Tracker headed south on I-25 near Montgomery and Montano. Make sure you are giving yourself a couple extra minutes to get to where you're going, especially if you are driving through any school zones. 
A California man is on a mission this morning to return someone's lost treasure. Brian Cox buys abandoned storage lockers and sells what he finds inside. But when he opened his latest purchase, he found a purple heart. That's one of the honorary medals given to service members who were either killed or wounded in combat. Cox says that he's trying to track down the owner, but has not had any luck so far. Stay with us. The five facts are coming up in 90 seconds. Welcome back. Time now for the five facts coming in at number five. Bosque Brewing is working with the Biopark to support local elephants. The elephants on parade four packs hit Bosque tap rooms yesterday. A portion of the proceeds will benefit the Albuquerque Zoo elephant family. Then on Saturday, they're hosting an event at Bosque North and Bernalillo. You can learn all about what it takes to care for the elephants and have the option to buy art that's actually painted by those animals themselves. We want uh, you to go do that. So if if you want more information, go to alwaysonkrqe.com. And number four, New Mexico's military members are now asked to be on alert this morning for scams going around. The Better Business Bureau did a study finding that military members are at a higher risk of scams and loss. Now, many reported the scams were moving to different cities, and those who served and got scammed lost an average of $50 more than others. The Bureau hopes that education will prevent this in the future. And at number three, hot temperatures in the forecast today, 10 to 20 degrees above average. Make sure you are staying hydrated as you head outside. And number two, the Albuquerque dad who nearly beat his infant son to death is scheduled to be sentenced in court today. Last year, Evan Ritchie admitted to choking and headbutting his four-month-old son because he wouldn't stop crying. Now, in April, Ritchie pleaded no contest to six abuse charges. He faces a maximum of 18 years in prison. And at number one, the, the family of a murdered UNM student is now reaching out to city leaders to find their son's killer. It took place back in February 2017 when 26-year-old Juan Carlos Romero was found shot and killed on the sidewalk right in front of UNM. There's a reward right now for information leading to an arrest. So far, that reward has reached $11,000. In the mayor's response to the family, he has agreed to set up a meeting and discuss the case. Stay with us. Coming up now at 7 a.m., you can join us on Fox New Mexico.